All right, uh, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can interpret rules for arithmetic sequences. Uh, this should help you out with, um, really, I mean, if you're thinking cleverly about this, this should help you out with just about all the problems uh, that I'll be assigning in regards to rules and um, finding nth terms and things of that nature. Uh, actually, if you really get good at this, you could even write rules if I gave you a sequence. All right, what is a rule? Uh, a rule for a sequence is a term for an equation which tells you the nth term in a sequence. So it's just a word for an equation which helps you find uh, some crazily huge or some crazily small um, term in a list of numbers. So this is an example. a sub n is equal to 5 minus 6n a sub n meaning the nth term of a sequence. So don't think of this as like some made up thing. n is actually a, a number and we just gotta figure out what that is. So if I wanted to find the 26th term I would just plug in 26 for n. So if I was making a list and I wanted to find the 26th thing on the list then all I would need to do is make n 26 and plug it into this rule. So a sub 26 is equal to 5 minus 6 times 26. And all a sub 26 means is the 26th term of the sequence. So a sub 26 is negative 151. All right. So what does this really mean? Uh, well, if a sub n is equal to 5 minus 6n, let's see how the sequence would look. OK, because right now this isn't a sequence. It's just some weird equation. All right, so I like to think of this as a table. Um, across the x values, I'm saying the number term in the sequence, so like first, second, third, fourth. Um, and we know what the 26th is, so you know we'll know kind of what to do there. So let's find the first term. So a sub 1, that means I plug 1 in everywhere I see an n in that equation. That's 5 minus 6 times 1, which is negative 1. OK, I'm not going to go through all the calculation. I'm just going to assume we know how to do that. So negative 1 goes in there. All right. Now we go on and we do the second term. Uh, a sub 2 is 5 minus 6 times 2, which is 5 minus 12, which is negative 7, which goes in there. All right, so we're just going to kind of keep on figuring out these next terms. So 5 minus 6 times 3, which is 5 minus 18, is negative 13. Okay, and you should start to see a pattern here, and it makes sense because this is a sequence, so we should be coming up with something that has a specific pattern to it. Um, and we'll discuss more what this means uh, in a second. So 5 minus 6 times 4 is 5 minus 24, which is negative 19. It goes in there. Uh, and we already know the 26th term, 5 minus 6 times 26 is negative 151. That goes in there. All right, so obviously the dot 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 the ellipsis uh, that means you know there'd be five six seven blah 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 up to twenty six. All right, so if we listed the sequence out, it would look like this: we'd have negative one, negative seven, negative thirteen, negative nineteen, ellipsis, etc. All right, well we sh we should kind of start to notice a pattern here um, from negative one to negative seven. I'm subtracting six. And then from negative 7 to negative 13, I'm subtracting 6. And I'm doing the same thing, which makes sense because this is an arithmetic sequence, which means I should be adding and subtracting each time. Well, I see this minus 6, and I see this minus 6 in the equation. So that should kind of make things a little bit easier for me. So the one method to write out all these terms is to plug... Uh, plug your n values in. If I want to find the first term, n equals 1. Plug that in, go from there. Uh, n equals 2, go from there. Uh, let me show you another way we can do this. What if we just added the common difference each time to figure out our sequence? Alright, so I've got my table. I'm starting this off with the zeroth term, okay? Because I know what the first term is supposed to be. Well, the zeroth term is going to be that little constant that's hanging out in the a sub n equation. So in this case, our constant is 5, because it doesn't have any n's on it. So it goes right here. All right. 
And now I know the common difference is going to be minus 6. So I'm just going to go ahead and subtract 6. And that gets me to negative 1. Subtract 6 again. That gets me to negative 7. Subtract 6 again. That gets me to negative 13. Subtract 6 again. Negative 19. And I would pretty much be subtracting 6n every time. Now, if I asked you for the first four terms in the sequence, to be clear, you would give me these. You would not include the 5 because it's technically the zeroth term. It's not a part of the, you know, first four, first five, because that means you would start from term 1 and go up to term 5 or term 1 up to term 4. So the actual first four terms of the sequence are negative 1, negative 7, negative 13, and negative 19. Uh, these are two different ways we can do this, the one where you're plugging in numbers and the other where you're kind of setting up this table and kind of adding or subtracting at your fancy. Um, really, it doesn't matter which one you prefer. I have always said use whichever method your dirty, wicked heart desires. All right, I wish you luck on the rest of these problems.